unless you've been living under a rock or a ball pit, the 49ers have a chance to make some moves here. Teams across the league are getting cap compliant. So you know what that means. They are cutting players and big time names at that. Perfect example, Buffalo Bills right now, absolutely gutting their roster and they're trying to get under the cap, cutting a ton of big time defensive players. Almost their entire defensive secondary has been cut at this point. So the question becomes, do the San Francisco 49ers try to pounce on one of these veterans? Do they try to search through the jungle gym for a value? It's gonna be very interesting to see. But let's talk about some of the names that are on the open market right now. And as I try not to hit my head and get a concussion, um, Jamal Adams, Seattle Seahawks, has been released. Not only that, they also let go of Quandre Diggs. So their two starting safeties have been let go. I'm trapped. Also, let's talk about some other names. Evan Byard, who the Eagles traded for from the Tennessee Titans at the deadline. Actually, at the time, felt like it was a really good move, but really didn't do much of anything with the Eagles. You know, Pro Bowl safety, he now is available. You also have Xavier Howard, um, legendary cornerback for the Miami Dolphins, been their cornerback one pretty much since he's entered the league. And yes, he's up there in age, but you talk about a veteran presence on the outside, maybe a guy who's looking to chase and get a ring, that might be a solid option for the 49ers. Um, Eddie Jackson, safety for the Bears, he has become available, as well as JC Jackson. The list goes on and on of available veteran defensive backs. Rashawn Jenkins on the open market. Avante Maddox, another Eagles secondary player, um, and who is highly regarded by the Eagles uh, was let go. Jordan Poyer, uh, big time safety for the Bills. Tredavious White. This one, arguably the biggest one of them all, former all pro cornerback, considered to be one of the lockdown corners in this league, released in order to save money on the cap. Now, could he be a guy that John Lynch, the San Francisco 49ers, attempt to go after? Potentially. Potentially could be. But there's a list of more and more veteran players that are effectively plug-and-play starters that could come in for the San Francisco 49ers. So the question becomes, should the 49ers go after any of these guys? Obviously, you have Charvarius Ward, Diamador Lenore returning. Brandon Ayuk just went on his Instagram live and said Diamador Lenore is looking to be one of the top guys in the league and not to sleep on him. And we know uh, Mooney Ward, all pro cornerback. And hey, they could use more help on the outside. But we do know Talanoa Hufanga is expected to be back at the beginning of the year. And then you have second year safety Jair Brown who has the opportunity to solidify himself as a starter, but you can go out and get either veterans uh, for depth or plug and play starters. So the San Francisco 49ers have a ton of options on their hands. So the question that I'm gonna pose to you is, should the San Francisco 49ers go after any of these guys? I think the guy that I like the most that I would love to see the 49ers go after, Tredavious White. If you could go out and get a cornerback like that, who just wants to win a veteran and you can plug and play with Charbarius and Diamador Lenore, then we're talking. So I would love to see that. And we'll see, maybe the 49ers slide right back to the Super Bowl. Let's see what I did there? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. But the San Francisco 49ers have an opportunity to make this roster stronger, better, more intelligent if they wanted to. I don't, I don't know, I'm just saying things at this point. Yes, you, son, who should we add? That is the question I am asking you. Let me know in the comments below, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.